Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multi-step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 3.4k in the great state of Texas and we're using item number 26 of the 2019 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, then unpause it. We will look at our answers together. So quite a few steps in this problem here. It's going to make the most sense if we draw a picture. So there are three basketball teams practicing together. So we're going to start with that. So I'm just going to draw three boxes. And each of these boxes are going to represent a basketball team. And I'll just put basketball team one, basketball team two, basketball team three. Always good practice to draw pictures if possible. Each team has 10 players, all right? So that's pretty easy. So I've got 10, 10, and 10. So what I need to know is that there are a th total of 30 basketball players there, 10 on each of three teams. I could do 10 plus 10 plus 10, or I can do three sets of 10, three times 10, that also makes Thursday, 30. Now, all of the players are used to make six groups during practice. Now, this is where it gets a little bit interesting, but our picture actually can help us here. Watch, we can do, I'm going to do some groups like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here are my six groups, and there are an equal number of players in each group. So it's this equal number that lets us know that we are dealing with multiplication or division. Because when we have this equal number here, uh, that lets us know that each group has to have the same number. And that's going to be our uh, keyword, along with this word each. That's going to let us know that we're really looking at either multiplication or division. And so we need to take our 30 players. So remember, we have 30 players. And we're going to divide them into six groups evenly. And here are our six groups. But if you think about it, you can actually take each of these 10 and you can kind of split them up like this. Many of you already know that 30 divided by 6 is 5. You know that's a factor. You can say 5 times 6 equals 30. But if you look at this picture, it also actually kind of splits itself up. If you take each of these teams of 10 and split them in half, you can get 5. 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So our answer here is going to be 5. But let's take a look at some of the incorrect answers because especially this G right here. This G is actually a tricky one simply because it's a number that we're using in our correct answer. You notice we've got a 6 here. We're going to multiply the 5 times 6. Um, or 6 times 5, whichever way you decide to do it, using the commutative property uh, lets you flip those. But you notice that we had the 6, and in case you're uh, going quickly and you're really not paying attention, it would be easy to circle the 6 because we already had that 6. And you know that 6 times 5 makes 30. But that's just simply the wrong fact. But it is a tricky one because you do use a 6 times 5 or a 5 times 6 to get your answer of 30. Now, let's look at the other two. 180 is a really big number, and it doesn't make any sense. How are you going to have 180 players in each group if there's only 30 total? Well, what we did here is we took our 3 times 10. We got our 30 players all together. And then instead of dividing by 6, we just ended up multiplying by 6. And so we did... 180 like that. So that it is possible to get 180. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. 24 makes a little bit more sense. It's the same type of thing. We're gonna we know that there's 30 kids there, 30 basketball players. But rather than dividing by six, this is when you accidentally subtract six. So you regroup and you've got 24, which it's a more reasonable number, but it doesn't make sense to have six groups of 24 because that's going to be a lot more than your 30. But that's where that answer comes from. And our answer here is going to be J5. 